getting up early on the weekend, it can only mean one thing. And no, that one thing is not that I've wet the bed. It means it's race day. <laughs> but it's not me racing today. It's her. And what are you racing, Mary? I'm racing the New York Virtual Marathon. Ah, rather you than me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm cycling. We're down in Littlehampton in the hotel. Uh, we, we were trying to find the flattest route possible for, for Mary to have a go at this, and, and we settled on a place on the south coast of England, just near Brighton, which is uh, called Littlehampton. So we're about an hour away from leaving the house. Um, we're going to get out there, and I'm going to cycle next to you, right? Mm hmm. <sighs> So if you're wondering what you're going to get from this video, the first one is obviously you're going to watch her run the New York Marathon, but just virtually. <laughs> Nearly choked on the muffin I'm eating. I'm going to be the windbreak because it looks really windy out there, so I'm going to cycle just in front of her a la Kipchoge's paces to try and you know take as much of the wind as possible for Mary. But the other thing is that I'm really excited to announce is my empowerment initiative, which is just really a fancy way for saying I'm launching a competition to offer one subscriber free coaching for the year 2021 to get you to your goals. And I'm gonna tell you how you do that at the end of the video, but it's exciting. hard to convey how windy this is. <laughs> it's freezing and it's so windy. Yeah, well I'm going to be taking the hit, right? We got to get going, haven't we? Is in, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory about how, why Mary's doing this and it's it's a simple one really is before lockdown we qualified for the New York Marathon the both of us via some times that we ran and we managed to get in through the ballot um, after the qualification time we were super super excited we booked our whole holiday to Florida around it we were supposed to be in New York right now but we're in Littlehampton running on a really windy day that looks like it might rain later. However, Mary's still smiling, that's the main thing, I think. Five K in, it's all good so far. At a nice steady pace. It's really windy, so just going with it. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Oh yeah, gel. So that's a perfect segue into what I was about to say actually is I'm basically Mary's pack mule. I'm carrying all of the gels, all of the liquid that she needs, anything, you know, all of my bike repair gear and I'm just handing it to her to try and make her not think of anything. So it's gel time. Go. Apparently I'm official gel opener as well now, hang on. There you go. The 
aim for this segment of the race really and now that we're kind of nearly 10 kilometers in it's just making sure what I call keeping your powder dry Mary's just got to make sure her heart rate doesn't spike she's got to make sure that the pace is not too fast because we all know that marathons bite at the end not at the start but she's absolutely nailing it so far quite happy it actually is talking to me a little bit aren't you yeah now and again <laughs> So that is almost the perfect timing. I'm going to hand you over to Mary. Here you go. Can you tell them how you feel? <laughs> yeah, just slowing it really. Okay, in. Like when you're moving, you don't feel the wind so much. Uh, maybe it's behind me, I don't know. But uh, yeah, feeling pretty happy at the moment. So I've just got to keep it steady and not get carried away. She's pushing through what might be called a bit of a rough headwind crappy patch. So I'm trying to take the hit of the wind for her as much as I can, but it's proving difficult because the wind's coming from all directions here. She's doing well though. Oh, swimmers in the sea. I do not fancy that today. I think this is a bit of a, a grim moment because we're in a bit of an industrial wasteland here and there's a headwind coming right at us so I've backed off a little bit. As you can see Mary's up there, just giving her her own space a little bit because it is it's a mental battle right now and I'll go and help her out in a second. Where you join us in the most brutal of conditions. We have less than a kilometer before we've got to turn round, but the rain has started. We're down on the beachfront. There's sea spray coming up. It's, this is hard work, so we'll be looking forward to turning around where we get a bit of a tailwind and get out of this mess. It that the weather would turn the moment we got the furthest point away from our car that you can get. So we're 21.1 kilometers away, half marathon. I'll pass you over to Mary just quickly. Mary's gonna, how are you feeling? Uh, scared, it's brutal. Oh, that was my mum! <laughs> that last five kilometres mentally was horrible. So, kind of like, not worrying about pace. My hips hurting, the weather, just getting it done really. That's it, it's just getting it done now. This is not good weather for a marathon. Not, not good weather for anything, but we're getting it done. 15 kilometers to go, 27 kilometers in, and it is a full blown storm now. It's absolutely grim in every sense of the word. I don't even know if it's possible to convey the brutality of what is happening to us out here, <laughs> but she's plugging on. Here she is. I'll take those, see in a second. 32 kilometers in, so we have 10 kilometers to go. We're at two hours 44, so we're probably looking in the region of three hours 35. I'm shivering uncontrollably. We've got to go and catch her. We're at 34 kilometers now, and it is unbelievably hard. Mary's had to stop twice for stitch, like really painful stitch. And um, getting any kind of pace going is almost impossible. But do you know what? 
I genuinely think that she will look back on this marathon one day and it will be her greatest achievement and I know that sounds crazy because it won't be a PB and it won't be at one of the marathon majors but this will be a solo marathon in the, probably the worst weather she'll ever run a marathon in and she didn't stop and she's going to look back on it so fondly, hopefully. I'm going to bring this back at the finish line. I can't do any more filming. I'm just we're broken. Did it? I like I can hardly breathe. Oh. That was so hard and we are <laughs> soaked <laughs> to the bone. I can't, I've left my cycling hat on because it's too cold to take it off. I've never run in conditions like that ever because I suppose you just wouldn't. Why would you? It was so brutal and I had a few towns along the way but to be honest if you could barely it, run it was like just go. hailstones but firing into your face winds of like 45 miles an hour I think yeah that is a big achievement so I'll, uh, I'll take it this is a sad state of affairs isn't it oh. all the glamour all the glamour So we changed and showered now and you would not believe it. I had to literally come outside just to show you this, you won't believe it. The wind has completely died down, I mean not completely died down, but it's died down a lot and it's sunny. I just had to show you this, you wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it for yourself. Right, I need to go and finish the vlog. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Mary. That feels good. What you achieved today was nothing short of amazing, in my <laughs> humble opinion. But Thank you've just you. done a marathon in possibly the worst conditions I've ever even trained in. Yeah. And you raced. How are you feeling now? Um, I feel really happy. I feel really proud of myself. You because should definitely be proud of yourself. It was such a challenge and I've never yeah experienced anything like that so yeah i'm pretty achy but i feel quite um pumped and happy well i said in the video uh, it, while we were out there that i i think that you'll look back on this as probably your hardest challenge you may have ever had to face even if you run eight ten more marathons so well done <laughs> quite emotional. well you should be you absolutely smashed it so if you're out there and if you're thinking about running a virtual marathon or a marathon please do because it is just a fantastic experience whether it's virtual whether it's real it's something that no one can ever take away from you it's a really inspirational thing to do and it's a it's a huge human achievement right yeah and you've done two. Oh, i need to explain about the empowerment program but we'll do that while you're sleeping i'll let you have a kit right thank you so while I'm editing the video, why don't I quickly tell you about my exciting new empowerment initiative and really what it is is me offering one person, a subscriber who also follows us on Instagram by the way, the chance to be coached by me from the 1st of January to whatever goal they have that season, next season 2021. It's the thing that I can give back of most value from me because this can cost upwards of a thousand pounds and I'm willing to give that away to one subscriber. 
All you have to do from now until I properly launch the competition is make sure that you are subscribed and that you do follow us on Instagram. More details to follow, but in the meantime, why don't you treat yourself to this video or that video, I can't remember what side it is, of Mary running the Seville Marathon in her first ever marathon.